What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We're back here for yet another episode, and uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of good old bass fishing. Um, now, the pond I'm going to is one that you guys have seen me fish a quite quite a bit, um, especially with a frog. And I'm going to start off fishing a little frog, and then I'm going to move in and uh, flip some of the. Uh, on the outsides of these uh, this grass patches and there's tons of small little grass patches all over this pond um, which is one reason why like a chatterbait or a crankbait or a swimbait or something like that isn't really working very good right now is because you can't cast directly straight and, and reel it back without it getting grass and so a flipping bait like a f little flipping crawl with some tungsten and a Texas rig works really well on the edges of um, these little grass patches which you guys see me catch quite a few fish um, in the in today's video doing this so it's a very effective way earlier in the morning um, right now it's so hot um, and so the bite really is the best time from like 5.50 to 6 uh, all the way up until like 7.15, 8 o'clock. Um, kind of around there. Kind of that two hour span. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoy today's video. Also make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because uh, something, something happens to my rod. And uh, you guys will want to check it out. Um, it's probably one of the craziest fish catches I've had in quite some time. I'll say that. But uh, anyways, guys, I think that's it for me talking. And uh, let's get to the video. Got one, guys. Got one. Oh, yes. That is the fish that I missed before would you guys look at that some good old froggy bass maybe not he is bleeding a little bit right there um, so I'm gonna get this guy back in the water so uh, he doesn't bleed as much there we go that is our first bass of the day folks so that came on the little rat right there that has some blood on it um, but he hit he hit my frog one time and I gave him way too much time I probably gave him like four seconds to eat the bait and uh, which was definitely too much time um, and uh, tried to set the hook and he wasn't there and I come back the second time and uh, he was he was there all right. Got one, guys. Got another one. Oh, yep. There we go. Small little guy, but we have got ourselves a second fish. Not a huge blow up at all. I was uh, I didn't know if he had actually gotten it at first, but he did. Just a little swirl and. Uh, that is fish number two right there on the little rat frog deal. So, here we go. Awesome one. Back in the pond. And uh, there we go. Got one, guys. A little fishy. There we go, guys. Look at that. That is our, I believe, third fish today. And uh, I actually changed up to the uh, a little Texas rig with the Excite Baits um, Raptor Tail. And uh, Raptor Tail Junior. There we go. And uh, <clears throat> just swimming it back, and this guy hammered it. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Just swim in this little crawl back um, and he hit it so little guy but uh that's our third fish today and um, not not too big but we are catching fish and that is important so again I just had the uh, this is the crawl bait right here 
it's kind of a slender profile I'm also flipping some grass patches um, and so I wanted that slim profile right there and then it's got some little little flapping flapping deals little leg things so that's kind of what I was doing again I can flip in some grass patches right there and let it sink down to the bottom or I can cast it out which is really nice oh there we go a little flipping fish for you guys on the excite baits raptor tail jr once again just flipping a little weed edge again a very versatile crawl you can swim it like I did in the last fish catch you can flip it and you can also even put it on a jig shirt a jig trailer there we go though awesome fish we'll let that one go Oh my gosh, guys. Holy cow. Did I just break my rod? Oh my gosh. You guys are kidding me. That was the most insane fish catch I have ever seen. Look at that. I just caught that. It about broke my rod, too. I missed a fish. It fell back in the water at my feet, and this guy hammered it. That was crazy. All right, guys. Off. Off she goes. Literally, I was standing probably right here. I got my bait up. It fell in the water, and it hit right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and my line was still wrapped around the tip of my rod. So whenever I set the hook, I thought, oh, something did break. One of my eyelets. Well, that's not good, guys one of my eyelets have broken um don't know what to do about this but there uh there we go that was a fish i don't know what happened to that eyelet I, i'm guessing whenever i set the hook it was wrapped around that eyelet and i set the hook pretty hard because it was a fish obviously and uh well I have to go replace a rod eyelet now. Alright guys, so I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I caught around six fish, I believe. I think two on the frog and four, I believe, on the uh, little flipping bait. And uh, if you guys saw the last fish catch, with, which I'm guessing you guys did, um, my rod one of the rod tips did break and uh my thought behind that was uh if you guys saw is i was reeling up a bait and i hopped it over a grass patch and so, and then so i had slack line and it got kind of wrapped around my line fell directly at my feet and there was a fish there somehow i don't know where that i didn't even know the fish was there but the fish was there he took off with my bait i i couldn't unravel it like untangle it that fast um fast enough for me to keep the fish and so i just set the hook and uh ended up breaking an eyelet um, which isn't that bad um i'm glad that it didn't break the rod which is what i thought it did especially the tip um but luckily i can go to academy or a, another sporting goods store and uh, pick up another eyelet but uh, other than that, it was a great day of fishing, and I uh, hope you all enjoyed today's video. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.